In this quick tips video, we're going to be talking about pigments. Pigments is located right here and is only available in Rebel 5 Pro. Pigments needs to be turned on every time. It is not an option that will save its state. So anytime you want to use pigments, you've got to turn it on right here. Now let's do a quick pigments demonstration. We're going to start with this turned off. And the first thing I want you to notice is the difference here in the color spectrum. This can be seen with gradient preview turned on. And what you're going to notice when we go to a blue or some of these other colors, the transition from this very thick pigment to white transitions through a saturated blue. When this is turned off, what you're going to notice is this transitions from this thick color through gray to get to white. This is the way that RGB color mixing has worked for years until Rebel 5 Pro. So here, if you have oil pigments selected, it's important to note that that does not mean that pigments is turned on. This feature still needs to be turned on independently. Let's just do a quick demo. Let's demo with this turned off. So we're going to do some yellow, phthalo blue, and quinacridone magenta. We're going to blend these. You'll see some purples here some oranges here, you will not see green over here. Now, if we turn this on, you're gonna notice there's some more saturation here. You can see some more color, but we're still not getting that green. So let's go ahead and repeat this process. This is gonna give us a beautiful color wheel. So as we mix these together, you can see these rich purples. Here you can see those transitions from blue to green and these spring greens. And here we can see these beautiful orange colors coming out. And so now we have this beautiful color wheel that mixes colors the same way that they would in real life. I'm absolutely in love with this. Okay, so that's a quick look at pigments in Rebel 5 Pro.